<laughs> Stanley's back. We, 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 oh, we resolved yay. the thing. We resolved Check. the thing. We yeah, resolved Check. something. Boom. Maybe created a new problem, but nah, that's just a full no, check mark. I was yeah. give us two check marks. We 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 took a, a a rogue god who believes in lots of change out of our u- universe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Goodbye, rogue boop. god. He's got a new friend. Hello, yeah. Stanley. I have a question. Yeah. Does this resolve the wallaby stegosaur question? What? What? In episode 42, Mindy learned that Wallaby Stegosaur believes that an asteroid is going to hit the Earth soon. (gasps) (laughs) What? How do you know this? (laughs) Way. Serpico. (laughs) Oh, that is the best foreshadowing since Watch the Skies. Uh, I don't know if it was intentional. I don't know if it resolves it. I just was like, hmm. (laughs) You have got to be kidding me. What I had in mind is that if Coors was in trouble, he was going to bring down an asteroid. Because you were at Longstalk Field, it was going to destroy Longstalk Field. (sighs) Oh, no. Wallaby Stegosaur had a bunker. <laughs> I had it all written out. <laughs> just in case Wallaby Stegosaur needed a bunker. Uh. So, yeah. <sighs> this wraps it up. <laughs> wow. Check number three. Oh, Un- man. Unbelievable. Wow. Oh Good job. Also, can we, can, we just, can we just point out that Morgan caught a meteor? <laughs> yeah, thank you, McSplody. Yeah. Would have destroyed yeah. our field, yeah. apparently. Oh, that would have been uh. devastating. Oh, then we would have been like 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 the um like the Newton Narcissus. Ugh. Yeah, uh. yeah. We or, would have yeah, been we, really wondering at that point if <laughs> never mind. <laughs> yeah, we we were at the play like <laughs> like 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 an, like a, a a youth little league field, yeah. <laughs> like a very small yeah. field. <laughs> yeah, you'd need to like split with someone like. Oh, the like gi- l- like the Giants and Jets, <laughs> like the Giants and Jets. <laughs> oh, it would be the Carnations. <laughs> they would be so oh, mad. Oh, they, they would be so, so mad. Yeah. So, <laughs> here's what I had written down. What uh, I had written down was, "Where are you having tea?" Um, the other things that I needed to make sure to have logged in my notes as like eventualities is, uh. Like the way Coors defends himself is, uh, and it this becomes a lot less effective now that there's you know artificial lights. But Zla, um, Coors could cause like lunar eclipses. He Which could very bad. <laughs> affect the cycles of the moon. He could affect the brightness of the stars. He can bring things down. What did so he like, do to the governor? I could tell you actually. Um, oh, yeah, he was providing consultation to the governor's wife, and the wife was going to leave. Mm. Oh, that's not that mm. bad. No, um, it's always the interpersonal stuff. It seems yeah. like just a good friend. Yeah, no, the go- John John Endicott <laughs> was mad that essentially a Slavic god was going to break up his marriage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yellow man for real was like <laughs> real real close to the chestnut on that one yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there was that, so there was that bit um and yeah like essentially what what i had as kind of these eventualities about cores was that cores is an amoral being driven by not the sense of not the sense of like balance or amorality but the idea that the world lives in cycles mm. Um, cycles of the moon, like cores in in a lot of kind of the the in the Slavic faiths that looked at cores. One of the aspects of cores was of a moon deity, and so everything for him is cycles. Um, so what's he gonna do with the inevitable? That I can't. Yeah. Um. It's but making me nervous. Yeah, yeah but funny. yeah. What's funny is because I knew that. Cores, and I did not expect this to happen, but because I knew that Cores could literally call down a comet to like strike the Earth, I had uh, elsewhere in my notes, 
I had my little highlight uh, around Wallaby Stegosaurus Emergency Doomsday Bunker, <laughs> just in case. Like there would have been a whole thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. So thankfully, that didn't happen because McSplody popped a hundred grand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Morgan bought it. McSplody. Yeah. Thank you, um, can, can can we can we name? Can it be canon that 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 the the snack shop at uh, Alongsock is the exploding memorial snack shop? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It is. It is sponsored. It is sponsored by um, uh, McSplody's Emporium. Yes, McSplody's Emporium. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I love it. Also, uh, and I, again, if McSplody's in the chat, if um, you wouldn't mind hopping into the Discord at some point and saying what the. Uh, what the uh, slogan for McSplody's Emporium would be, that would be terrific. Right. Thank you, McSplody. And thank you oh. for saving up 100,000 channel yes. points, which is amazing. A, a, an obscene number of hours of listening to our, our programs, not, not only this one, but other ones. So thank you for your oh. support. Uh, Supreme Lord Ender, uh, great question. What's going to happen with the comet? Um, uh, the comet is going to have a very, very long scientific designation. Uh, that starts with Woodstock and is going to be kept at the Museum of Science. Amazing. Oh, amazing. Yay. <laughs> go go before, on. Can we before we go future? dark tonight, yeah. would anyone like to know my beef with Joey? Yeah, what happened? Yeah. What did I do? Yeah, okay. I'll tell you. Here's what you did. <laughs> oh, <that's, laughs> oh, that was the wrong one. <laughs> that was the wrong video. <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> I thought it had something to do with salmon for a second. <laughs> salmon. Jeez. Hey, Here's what happened. Seven days ago, last yep. Little League, yep. I went into the mind of Renard and mm -hmm. womp womp, it was bad news. He was telling mm -hmm. a little bit of a lie. It happens. Mm -hmm. Adults lie. Little League mm -hmm. has taught us this. Last week, Joey gave me some real grief for ruining Renard. Okay? <laughs> some deep some real deep beef with me, ruining Renard, saying I didn't trust Renard, going into the mind of Renard and getting bad news, okay? This was the worst thing I've ever done to ruin Slob's childhood. Flashback to episode 38, because I went back and reviewed the game tape. And in episode 38, <laughs> let me quote Slob. No. <laughs> in episode 38, Mindy says to Slabs, don't you trust Renard? And Slab says, no, why would I? Look at what he did to Blatmasters. Look at what he did to me. I don't trust Renard to do the right thing. End quote. And then we had, then, okay, hold on. And then we had a character arc where, where we repaired our friendship and that, that we went through so much and I had to deal with the demons of my past, which my demons of my past it. was me from the future, which you caused. You know, it all uh, comes back to me. I get it. And I know you had a real renaissance with Renard, a real Renardissance. 